in this video I will show you how to use the Wi-Fi Direct feature of your HP DeskJet 2742E printer. This way you'll be able to connect it directly to a smartphone or a computer. Before starting you need to go on your smartphone, Windows computer or Mac computer and download the HP Smart App. You absolutely need to download this app to make this setup work. Once this app is downloaded, we now need to find the Wi-Fi password of the printer. And to do so, first of all, you need to insert some paper in the back over here, since the printer will print out the password. To make it do this, you see over here on the screen, you should see the Wi-Fi Direct icon right above the ink levels. Right now, there is none. To make this icon appear, you need to press the Wi-Fi button and the button right above it, both at the same time for two seconds. So let's do it. One, two, then I remove. And over here, we can see a new icon, icon appeared, a smartphone and a printer. This means that the Wi-Fi Direct is now activated. To print the password, all you have to do now is to press the I button on the printer. The I button is located right under the Wi-Fi button. So press it once and wait. You can also extend this door over here because we don't want the paper to fly around. And usually in about 25 seconds, we should get the paper. Here we go. If you take this paper over here, we're going to notice that there, it, there is the same logo, the smartphone and the printer. And then under it, you're going to see the name, the Wi-Fi name of the network name of your printer. And under it, the Wi-Fi Direct password. It's a series of numbers. Now we need to connect your computer or phone to this network. So I'll go on my iPhone, but you do the same on Android and PC or Mac and you're going to find in the Wi-Fi networks that are around you your printer. So over here I can see direct HP DeskJet 2700 series. I'll tap on it and it will ask me for the password. So let me go ahead and type my password and then I'll press join. And now we are connected to the network of the printer. It's time to launch the app you just downloaded previously. So I'll go ahead, launch HP Smart. Once you launch the app, what you need to do is to press on the top right corner over here where you see the icon of a printer with a plus sign because we need to add this printer to the app. Then once you're on this page, you're going to uh, tap on complete now. And in this list over here, you should see your printer. This is mine. I'll just tap on it. So this is the main menu of the app. And you'll see on top over here saying HP DeskJet 2700 series. And there's, there'll be a button that is saying finish setup. The finish setup over here, you're not obligated to press on it to use the printer. Actually, they're just trying to sell you their instant ink um, service that depending on uh, your needs, sometimes it's worthy, sometimes it's not worth uh, the trouble. So I'll let you go over the setup if you want, but you're not obligated. I will, even, I will even show you that it works without it. So by going down over here, we have a few tiles. Let's start by scanning a document by pressing printer scan. And over here, there's source, tap on it. And make sure that scanner is selected. Now it's time to place a document over here. Simply open it. Let's scan this paper. Over here you're going to see there's a small icon on this corner. What you need to do is to place the document facing down with the top side of the page. Let me show you. So this is the top over here on the right side and then align it with this corner. So simply push the corner of the, the paper over here so it's aligned then you can close down 
go back on the app and then on top of here make sure that this is the correct size here quality if you're scanning a document you can leave it at 200 dpi if you're scanning a picture or something where um, the quality of the scan is very important you want many details simply choose 300 dpi and here you can choose if you want your scan to be in color or black and white when you're done press this white button okay the scanning is finished now what you can do is to adjust the corners by dragging these circles you can also select auto here so it will automatically detect the edges of your paper then you can press next now you can decide to rotate this in case it uh, scanned upside down and over here you have multiple options you can actually print whatever you just scanned you can share saved and this is what we'll do by clicking here you'll be able to choose uh, to give a new name to this scan so if you don't want what they just uh, decide here you can say something let's say test and then when you go back you can select in which format you want this scan to be saved pdf jpeg uh, are the most common ones and here the file size if you want something if you want a very small file if you want to share it let's say on an email and you cannot send a lot of data then choose small i will just leave it to actual i think it's the best thing and then finally press the share saved button over here you're going to have multiple options to share it through social media through email you're going to have all your apps down below or maybe even airdrop it to a Mac computer if you're on a iPhone. If you want to save it on your iPhone, you just need to go down and here you're going to have saved files. So tap on this and then you'll decide where you want to save it on your phone or computer. To print a document, you just have to go over here where we said print photo print documents tap on print documents and now you just have to retrieve the file that you want to print so i'll go ahead i just found over here what i want to print this is the the document and then i'll press print preview over here we have multiple options to access them just need to type tap the small um, arrow make sure that your printer is selected on the top and here the pa paper size is also selected mine is this one print quality is up to you uh, and color option if you want color or black and white when you're done simply press the print button and it will say printing make sure you have some paper inserted in your printer and in about 20 seconds there should be something coming out of it here we go so this is my document that just got printed you can simply press done now and you're back in the main menu so this is it this is how you connect your hp deskjet 2742e uh, using wi-fi direct to your phone or computer and then you can scan and print wirelessly if this was helpful please leave a like comment down below subscribe and i'll see you in the next video